Earlier in this chapter, we took a look at some of the navigation tools available to us in AutoCAD. These tools helped us to get a different view of your drawing. They're great for precision, but most of the time you need to get from one view to another very quickly, and you don't care or need to be precise. You just need to see your model differently. There are several navigational tools that will help you do this. You already know about Zoom and Pan two of the most used navigation tools in AutoCAD. But what about the navigation bar? That's this guy over here on the right. It has a lot of things in it. Let's open up the model beam. This will give us something to look at. Now the navigation bar is a tool that holds many tools in it. To turn it on, you can just type in nav bar. Now, you go on or off. Some people find it annoying and they don't ever want to use it. But I want to show it to you so then you can make the decision for yourself. It does have a lot of tools in it. Some of them are repeated, just like anything else in AutoCAD, but you want to know they're there. Now the steering wheel is a visual reference tool that allows you to navigate inside your drawing through many different methods. And that's the first one right here up at the top. Just click it and it pops up on your screen. Now. As you navigate around, you can close it, expand it to get some more settings. You can get to some of the different things you want here, like the pan command. Click and hold, and you can pan around. Now, to be honest and to be fair, with the scroll wheel on your mouse giving you the ability to pan, you're not going to use this very often. Same thing with the zoom. Click it and hold it, and it gives you a real-time zoom. Here's the orbit. So you can spin around and a rewind. This will put you back through different views you've recently been in. That's kind of cool. You can center your view like that. You can lock your view in. You can move up and down. Or you can walk through different directions. They can be a bit difficult to use from time to time and can be kind of cumbersome, but they're there. Now you have different navigation wheels. So you have the full wheel, which we just saw, or you can get to a mini wheel, which has all the other things in it. It just doesn't take up as much room on your screen. Just move your mouse around the little target to get to what you want to get to. You can see the word that'll show up underneath it. It says walk up, down, pan, etc. Now this walk view, as you move your mouse around, it will help you to navigate or do a real-time pan in that direction. We have a smaller drawing here, so it's harder to see it, but it's there. Some of the other options are to just have a mini view object wheel, which is just the different views, and some of the others have just a 2D wheel for a zoom, rewind, or pan. And you can always get to the settings by clicking on this bottom arrow. Or you can go back to your full navigation wheel. You can also hit the escape key to get out of it. Here is your pan move. You can pan around, escape, to get out of it. You have zoom. You can click on the zoom extents. Or if you click on the little arrow, you have the different options for the zoom command that are there. The nav bar is nice because it puts a lot of different navigational tools on your screen in an easy to find place. You can get to all of these commands by going through the different tabs in the ribbon or by typing in some of them. But sometimes that can be you know, cumbersome or you're not exactly sure where they're at or remember what the command is that you need to type in. You can just come right over here, find the icon and go at it. This one here is an orbit. It's your 3D orbit, free orbit, or a continuous orbit. Continuous orbit's kind of cool. I can just push it off and let it go. You might want to do this to display something or to watch how something moves or the way it looks. You just grab it with the left click of the mouse and go in a direction. The slower you move it when you release it, the slower it goes. Now this is kind of cool to do if you have a big presentation and you want to show something that's more interesting than just a still drawing. 
or if you're having a tour of your facilities, you know, at your design firm, you can turn on all of the CAD workstations and have them all rotating the company logo or some design that you've worked on. You have your regular orbit command, which will orbit around an axis. You have your free orbit. So you can grab it here by specific axes. And as you move your mouse around this circle, you'll see the axes change. Watch the glyph where my crosshairs are, my cursor. And you can see that allows me to rotate it on a fixed axis. It's not as random. And of course, your regular orbit. You can get out of all these commands by pressing the escape key. Now, if you have a 3D mouse hooked up to your workstation, these are some of the controls for that. I don't have one currently, though I've used one in the past, and you may or may not have either. But you can get to your controls for it right here. Now this right here is a show motion. This creates a type of slideshow that you can play on your screen. Once you open the show motion toolbar, it comes in right here. Let me move the command line out of the way. Now you can pin it so that it stays on the screen. And we can create different views. So if we need a new view or a new shot, click the button. And here's where some of your saved views come in handy. And you keep doing that. And then you will play the views and it will show them all to you in a slideshow. And when you're making a drawing, to be honest, this is not real useful. But when you're giving a presentation, this is very useful. And you can play it, you can loop it, or you can go one screen a shot at a time. So this is a tool that you may want to use later on. One other tool I want to show you is the view cube. You've probably seen it up here. It's in the top right. You can get to some of its settings right here. Click on the arrow, and it will give you different visual settings. Now you can grab the view cube by left-clicking and grabbing it. And when you do that, it rotates. So it's sort of like grabbing the cube and rotating it around. It's a pivot command. I can also switch my views. If I click on some of these arrows, it'll automatically take me to the front view. Of course, I can click on the front view, and I can quickly navigate my views. And I can also click on those arrows here to rotate 90 degrees about the axis which you currently are. As you move your cursor over the view cube, you'll see these sections that are turning blue. Now when I click on one of those blue sections, that's where it takes me to. You can also click on the north, east, south, or west to change my views. And this is just another way to quickly and visually navigate inside your file. So these are a lot of the different navigational tools that are available to you in AutoCAD. A lot of them are very advanced. Some of them are very tricky to use. You're going to find that your mouse will be just about all you need for about 90-95% of your navigational needs. Click and hold the scroll wheel and you can pan around. Zoom in and out by just rolling the wheel. Double click it, that's a zoom extents. Hold your shift key and your middle mouse button, the scroll wheel button around, and there's a quick orbit. You can do these inside commands. You can get to them without going anywhere else besides your mouse. And that's why there are probably better tools to use. But I wanted to show these to you so that you could see them and know that they are there. Because they have special purpose functionality built into them. So if you have a very special or unique situation, in which you need to navigate inside your file, you can. And these are here, and these are more advanced and not something you're going to use every day. But if so, then that's fantastic, and they're there for you.